Hmm, wonder what I could get with a dollar. No, too much. No, that's too much too. Maybe, but probably not. A record album? I can get a record album for a dollar? What? Hey everybody, it's Mama J. And as you've seen by the thumbnail, I have some record albums that I purchased for one dollar each. Now, I have already run all of these record albums through the record friend for the cleaning and I also put them all inside plastic sleeves already. But prior to that, each one was a dollar. So they're all in a box. We're gonna randomly pull out some and see what I got for a dollar. Right there, everything, one dollar each. Hey everybody, it's Mama J and I am here with part three of what did I get for a dollar? That's right, I'm still showing off albums that I got for one dollar each. So, I'm going to show you 10 more from the collection that I bought, and I'm randomly going to just draw them out of the box. So, let's go. Alrighty, number one is, oh, Olivia Newton John. Actually, I picked up two, so I'm just going to show you the one to start. This is Have You Never Been Mellow. So again, for some reason it's not in the paper, but you can see uh, this album. I tilt it, you'll see there are no scratches as with the other ones. But I was really happy to be able to add another Liv Newton John album to my collection. All right, so then the second one we're going to use that I pulled right here is Reba McIntyre. This one is What Am I Going to Do About You? It's pretty cool. I love Reba. Yeah, I watch the Reba show all the time. Moron. And no words. No lyrics. But that's all right. Still a pretty cool album to add to the collection. All right, number three. <clears throat> <laughs> I seen this and I had to grab it because it's Christy and Jimmy Mc McNichol. They were both idol, uh, like teen idols back in the 70s. I know that um, she played in a movie called Little Darlings, which I really liked back then. But um, yeah, I just picked this up because I just thought it was different and funny. So I thought it was pretty cool to be able to add that to my collection. All right, so now we're going to go for number four. Oh, Linda Ronstadt, Mad Love. Pretty awesome. And look at that again, lyrics right there on the back. We're not hiding them. And inside, what did we get? Just uh, info and a photo. So, some info about who wrote the songs and a photo. So that's pretty cool to add that to the collection. All right, next one. Oh, Sean Cassidy, Under Wraps. And I'm sure you've all heard me tell the story that this is the first concert, or he is the first person I've seen in concert. Back in like 77. And we did get lyrics. What a score. But yeah, and actually, this is the first concert I went to by him. So obviously, happy as can be to add that one to my collection. Oh, John Denver's Greatest Hits. Again, another one I might not have jumped on, but for a dollar, a Greatest Hits album, I'm buying it. That's pretty cool. And this has Leaving on a Jet Plane, Take Me Home Country Road, Rocky Mountain High. So yeah, it has lots of great songs on it. 
And did we score lyrics? We did not. We got a photo on this side and just the basic info on that side. We're still happy to add that to the collection. All right, so let's pull out number seven. Ooh, Donnie and Marie Osmond. I'm leaving it all up to you. I used to watch the Donnie and Marie show all the time. I also had a Barbie doll of Donnie and a Barbie doll of Marie. Or I guess a Ken doll of Donnie, I guess you would say. So let's see, did we score lyrics? We did not. But pretty awesome to still be able to add this to my collection. This is pretty funny. Right here, there's a little note. And it says, for the latest facts, pictures, etc., send $2.25. In Canada, $2.50. Other countries, $3. And join the Marie Osmond Fan Club. And it gives the address. Or the Osmond Brothers Fan Club. And it gives the address. wonder if that's still valid. I think I'm going to send a letter. And I'll let you guys know if anything comes of it. All right, let's go for number eight, I believe. Oh, Rick Springfield, living in Oz. Living in Oz. Rick right there. I have met Rick multiple times. I've seen Rick probably the most in concert. And boom, that's a hell of a picture right there, isn't it? He looks hot as can be. And we scored. We got lyrics. So that's a winner, winner. But again, I love this album, uh, Human Touch, Allison and Affair of the Heart, Living in Oz, Motel Eyes, Tiger by the Tail, you name it, it's an amazing song. So really, really happy to have this. And I would have paid way, way more than a dollar. And actually I did. I now have two copies of this. I didn't realize it, but at least I only paid a dollar for this one. All right, all right number nine. Oh, the Doobie Brothers. Taking it to the streets. Very cool picture right there with all the guys. Alright, so this one. No score! We got the lyrics! Awesome, awesome. There's only one album, even though it's a gatefold album. I think they did this with a lot of things so you could get that center picture. Plus everyone thought it was really cool when they started doing these. So pretty happy to add that to my collection. Okay, so we're going to take out number 10. Oh, Charlie Daniel Daniels Band, Windows. Again, another one I might not have jumped on except for I got it for a dollar. So for a dollar, I definitely will add it to my collection because I do like Charlie Daniels. And what score? Lyrics, awesome, awesome. So really happy to get that with the lyrics. All right, so again, 10 wonderful albums. Do any of these al albums bring memories for you? Have you seen any of these people in concert? Again, we got the Charlie Daniels Band, Windows, the Doobie Brothers, Taking It to the Streets, Rick Springfield, Living in Oz, Donnie and Marie, I'm Leaving It All Up to You, John Denver's Greatest Hits, Sean Cassidy Under Wraps, Linda Ronstadt, Mad Love, Christy and Jimmy McNichols, Reba McIntyre, and Olivia Newton-John, Have You Never Been Mellow. So let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to smash that like button and stick around and check out my Patreons. And if you're interested, they get something every month. All right, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.